What's up gang? Today I'm going to show you how to hack your MC909 so that you can use a 256 megabyte XD card with your smart media slot. Here we go. Okay, so let's get to it. We're going to be working with these smart media cards. Um, the issue is, is that these only ever went up to 128. However, your 909 can see 256 megabytes if you use one of these adapters. So this adapter um, uses the XD card and the important thing to remember is that when you do get your XD card that it has the H, that means high capacity, 256 megabytes. So what you will need is a USB cable, a computer, your XD card, the adapter, and you need a smart media card that's either blank or that you can afford to erase. So we'll start by putting in our smart media card. We'll go to system, file utility, and then card format. Okay, so now our card is formatted and we can go back to the menu and we will go to USB and connect the memory card. So now we'll go over to the computer and we will make a copy of this card. Okay, so now you see that the MC909 card has popped up on the desktop. And what we're going to do is copy these and then you can eject it. Okay, so we've ejected the disk off of the computer so we can take it off of the 909. Then we, we're going to take this card out. We're going to insert our XD card into the adapter, just like that. We're going to put the card in there. Now it's important that you don't format the card on the computer first. Uh, by that I mean at no time should you be putting this into your computer or anything like that. All of the everything should happen on the 909 really um, this is important because if you screw up the XD card then it won't work and you can't undo it so we're gonna go back here uh, we're gonna go to USB memory card so now it's connected and we're gonna go back to the computer and format it from there while the card is still inserted in the 909. Okay, so now we see that the card is here um, and it's got a weird name on it because I put a weird name on it. And what you're gonna do is open your disk utility and you see the card there and we will click erase. You can put a name there. It's picky about the, uh, the names that, you, that, it, that it can use. And you're gonna use the MS-DOS file allocation table and then that is going to format the disk okay and once your disk is formatted it will show up on the desktop again you can go ahead and click done you can close disk utility and we're going to paste these two folders that we created and we'll copy paste those on to the 256 card. And then you can go ahead and eject this. All right, so we can eject that off of the 909. And now you can see if you go to menu, file utility, and if you look at the card, you'll see that the folder structure is there. Um, so the thing is, is that if you don't do it in this very specific way, um, it will give you errors when you try to either access it or write to it. 
but you'll see that this way works just fine. And this will give you 256 megabytes of storage space on the card. Um, one thing that you can do is just save that blank file structure and just use that anytime you want to do another one and put it back in. All right, so that's how you can sneak in 256 megabytes into your uh, smart media card reader on the Roland MC909. Huge shout out to DJ Flex Make 2. Uh, thanks for showing us how to do that on the old school Roland Clan forums. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description for that. Next week, we're going to go over the basic structure of the 909. So that includes uh, the sound generator, the sequencer, the sampler, how those things work, just kind of an overview of those things. Uh, and then we'll dive deeper into each of those uh, in future episodes. So that's a big one coming up, and there's going to be much more after that in the weeks to follow. Leave me some comments if there's anything that you have questions about. Uh, let me know if you like this stuff. Give me some thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.